162. Chapter 18 Welcome to Wisconsin. Summary My very first time experienced of flying the airplane alone from Arizona to Wisconsin for a new life wishing to find a new hope while dealing with multiple problems. My father's great and inspiring message in his letter had motivated me to fight life and to achieve the great destiny that God has already prepared for me. Well, I was in the air. I was hoping my life in Wisconsin would be a lot better. I talked to a lady seated beside me about my parents' shellcraft business and asked for her telephone number, which she gave me. A man sitting on my other side asked many questions, especially whether I was single. I told him the truth, of course. He obviously was flirting with me to see if he had a chance to get into my life. It was a little scary flying by myself, but I kept in mind that God had promised me through the necklace I found that he would be with me wherever I go. I took a nap for about an hour, and then continued to talk with my new friends. It was not easy for me to run from state to state in a relatively new country, where I had lived only in one location. When I arrived at my first stopover, I needed to transfer to another airplane. I carried more than three bags with me, a trip made more difficult by my wearing sandals with two inch high. Heels. An escalator helped with some of the stress. According to the flight schedule that I had to transfer to a different terminal via a short train ride. I was a bit frightened, but I just prayed to God that he would guide me in the process. I kept asking other passengers where to go. One of my co-passengers said I must ride on a particular train to get to the airplane that would take me to Madison, Wisconsin. Without any more thought, I got on board. Wow, I rode on the right train. Thank God. Inside the plane, I met the man who liked me and was going to Madison too. I arrived on schedule. I had called my great aunt Nina, my mother's aunt, to pick me up before I left Arizona, so I found my luggage, said goodbye to the still smiling man who was. 163. Standing three feet away from me and staring at me and spent 15 minutes looking for great aunt Nina. Uncle John was waiting outside the airport in the car. My great aunt Nina, Uncle John, and I talked about many things on the way to their home. They promised to introduce me to one of their Caucasian American friends, a physician, who was looking for a Filipino to be his wife. That prospect excited me. While we were talking, I was looking out of the window and seeing lots of land but few houses. It was about 10 p.m. when we arrived in Aunt Nina's yard and I saw a house much larger than where I had been living with Jeffrey. Great Aunt Nina and Great Uncle John helped me carry in my luggage. My Great Aunt Nina gave me a little tour from the basement to upstairs. The master's bedroom was so near Jane's bedroom that I suspected I would have been uncomfortable having the privacy of my domain so easily penetrated by my parents. They needed more privacy was my immediate reaction. It was a good thing that Jane was not living with them anymore. Their older son, Ricky, slept on the lower level. One additional bedroom was in the fully furnished basement. Their younger son, Charles, slept in one room in the basement, and I was to have his old bedroom since Charles was not living with them anymore too. Being below the ground level, my huge room seemed really cold, even with the heat on. Great Aunt Nina and I quickly decided we would sleep in her daughter's old bedroom, just to hang out and talk more easily, in that way we will not bother great Uncle John. Before we went to sleep, I called my parents in the Philippines to let them know I was safe and at peace in Wisconsin. The book of John 14, 27, NKJV, which says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do, I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. They were most happy and had peace. Of mind knowing I was with my great aunt and great uncle. They told me to keep praying and always take care of my life. The book of 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, NKJV, which says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 164. A few 
weeks later, I received a nice letter from father that brought tears to my eyes. My daughter, he wrote. I have been worried about your situation in America since learning about your problems with your husband. Now that you are safe in Wisconsin, just trust in God and try to relax your mind. One of these days the radiant sun will shine upon you because you are a particularly good person and a hard worker. You are not the only one who experiences trials. Wherever you go, problems always will exist for you to overcome. The book of 1 Corinthians 10, 13, NKJV, which says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. His message gave me self-trust, self-confidence, and a sense of self-worthiness. He recognized me as a particularly good person, contrary to what Jeffrey had been saying about me for two and a half long years. The book of John 8, 44, NKJV, which says, You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. After I read Father's letter, I felt that everything would be better in my life, and that God had great plans for me. The book of Jeremiah 29, 11, NKJV, which says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Additional Bible Verses Philippians 4, 7, NKJV, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Matthew 7, 7, NKJV, ask, and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find, knock, and it will be open to you. 165. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, NKJV, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. James 1, 3, NKJV, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. John 10, 10, NKJV, the thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. Romans 8, 37, NKJV, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. 1 Peter 5, 7, NKJV, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 8, NKJV, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. 2 Timothy 1, 7, NKJV, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 2 Thessalonians 3, 10, NKJV, For even when we were with you, we commanded you this, If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. Romans 3, 23, NKJV, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God.